Hey everybody, I'm Clifford Summy, the Pop Song Professor. Welcome to my channel where we make English class awesome by talking about song lyrics on school days. And today we're talking about NF's brand new song and music video, When I Grow Up. The song and the music video, video both are fantastic and I can't wait to tell you guys more about them. So, based on just the title, you can probably already guess that NF is singing about what it's gonna be like when he grows up. But NF has already grown up, you say. What's going on with that? Well, the song is written from the perspective of his younger self. It seems to be around the time that he was first trying to put out music, maybe right after he recorded his debut mixtape, Moments, which was the first thing that he put together and actually he put out before he started going by NF and just went by his full name, Nathan Fewer, fewer Stein or whatever. Uh, and so he put he puts out that and now he's singing about it from this perspective. In the music video, we see a bunch of little kids in a nursery and somebody off camera is asking them, what do you want to be when you grow up? And one kid says ballet teacher, one kid wants to be a veterinarian, police officer, boring, boring, boring. We come over to Lil NF and Lil NF says, I want to be a rapper. And it's, it's very cute because it's obviously Lil NF because he's got the dark hat and the skinny jeans with the, the holes in the knees and it's it's just like somebody took enough and shrunk them down and reversed them by about 20 years or something like that uh, so anyway very cute but it's a little bit of a precursor into what's coming in the music video throughout the music video we see NF acting in three different positions he, he is a garbage man while he raps and he's throwing garbage in the trash and like hanging off the back of the garbage truck while he says what he has to say then he's a custodian for a little bit doing some cleaning and then finally he's in a fast food restaurant now each of these seem to be kind of like not the right place to find a rapper, but it does seem like the right place to find somebody who maybe wants to be a rapper and is trying to break into the industry, and so they're working a job while they do it. Well, while he's working as a fast food employee, he asks his co-workers through the lyrics and in the music video, do you want to hear my stuff? Maybe, you know, I can rap really fast. And every time they say no, and then he like tricks them into saying, you know, he asks, uh, you know, should I just throw it all away? And they say no. He's like, ha, tricked ya. And it's kind of a funny little tongue in cheek moment. Uh, but then in the, a customer gets mad at him, throws food at him, says this burger isn't good. So NF hops on his car and starts throwing food back at the guy. His employer comes out, starts chasing NF around. Uh, and then that seems to be the end of the fast food job. Not sure how autobiographically correct that is, but that'd be an interesting <laughs> origin story, I guess. So anyway, NF is obviously very frustrated through all of these jobs, and none of these are where he wants to be, but it's what he does. Unfortunately, the frustration is too strong for him to maintain those jobs for the right reasons. Uh, so then we see him doing like an underground concert. There's just two kids with completely blank expressions on their face looking at him, kind of referencing how hard it can be for an artist starting up, and even just a hair before that he's handing out little like home home printed copies of moments to his friends in the car and one friend even like holds their hand up like no no I don't really want that thanks though uh, and it's like all these people just think that he should quit they're like whatever we don't care well as he's jumping around in that little two-person concert all of a sudden the camera cuts to one of his big concerts and we're like oh my gosh it actually worked out this is awesome and there's a lot of energy it's very exciting uh, and that's that's the main over arc of the story but then at the very end as the music goes with fades away uh, he goes into a back bathroom and while he's doing the concert he has like this smile this black smile painted on his face which seems to be a reference to something he's talked about before the the need to kind of put on a smiley face for people even when you don't feel like it he goes into the bathroom after the concert he's tired now and he wipes it off now this could mean that he feels like there's too much pressure to be a certain person at the concert and he wants to be more himself or it could just be a reference to in general he wants to be truer to himself and how he feels, which kind of goes along with the chorus of this song. Uh, and I'm going to highlight three lines from here. When I grow up, I just want to pay my bills rapping about the way I feel. And these lyrics won't be exactly perfect because nobody has accurately transcribed them yet. So this is just kind of going off of my ear in a vague approximation. Uh, when I grow up, I just want to pay my bills rapping about the way I feel. I just want to make a couple mil, leave it to the fam and the will. It might not be the best I feel, but I guarantee I'm going to die real. He's paying his bills rapping about the way he feels, which is an interesting concept. Uh, but that last line particularly not, might not be the best I feel, but I guarantee I'm a die real. He's going to be who he truly feels like he's meant to be. Uh, so that's that's the chorus. I think that really sums up the meaning of the lyrics. The two verses go in a little bit deeper. They give some some specifics about what this looks like. Uh, and I think that it's, 
it's really, really well done. It's worth listening to what he says through the lyrics themselves. Uh, but I'll highlight a couple of lines here. Yeah, when I grow up, do you know what I want to be? Take a seat, let me tell you about my ridiculous dream. I want to rap, yeah, I know it's hard to believe, and I can tell you're already thinking I will never succeed, so he feels like he's had to deal with haters from the very beginning. Not even haters, but just apathetic people who are like, oh yeah, that's nice, give it your best. Uh, I know this probably really isn't realistic, and honestly, I might never make a difference. So he's talking a little bit about wanting to do some good for the world through this, but I don't make a difference. I'm gonna have to risk it. I've been punching numbers, you have to be a mathematician. I see the odds ain't room for me. I can't lie though, it's kind of how I like it to be. So he likes being an underdog and he wants to push through something that's difficult. He's looking for a challenge. The fact that other people don't think he can make it doesn't matter to him, apparently, even though he still does remember what they have to say. Uh, then, this this is the part that probably was the most painful for some of us to hear. I can go to college getting a degree like everybody else. I don't know if it was exactly a degree, but it was something like that. Graduating, probably get a job that doesn't pay the bills. Ouch! Ouch! Wowee! Uh, yeah, so a lot of college degrees don't pay the bills. Depends on what college degree you get and just kind of on you as a person afterwards and how things fall out. But even still, yeah, um, it, he's basically saying like, yeah, you guys think that you've got it made going this way. Well, you know, your per way isn't perfect either. I might as well try to be a rapper. The odds are against me here too, just like they might be against you. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's, uh, in the second verse he talks a little bit more about what this future might look like. He says he dreams of being, having a tour bus, hearing songs on the radio, uh, maybe even doing a couple of shows, and just overall being real, rapping, and I don't know, it's a really cool perspective uh, to hear from NF to kind of have him go back and dig into who he was. And then I think probably that imagery of the of him in the concert with the, just the two kids is very, very funny. Uh, but maybe most important imagery is him wiping that smile off at the end, which I think really says a lot. So those are my thoughts on When I Grow Up by NF. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this as well. Don't forget to check out these explanations of NF as well. He's got some really great stuff. It's deep. It's worth diving into, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Talk to you next time.